Hello, it's Sarah, and today I want to talk about polymer clay. And this is because I got a request from Jamie Guthrie. She had seen my um, craft room share um, and saw this mirror on the wall and was curious about it. And so asked me if I would um, talk about it a little bit. So I want to do that. And I'm really glad she did because I've been making Christmas cards like for the last two weeks and I'm like over it. <laughs> but um, so I want to talk about this a little bit. Um, my whole venture into YouTube and stamping and paper crafting and all that started, believe it or not, um, I was doing stained glass at the time. And I've done big mirrors, real big mirrors. This is just a smaller one, but mainly mosaics. That's what I, what catches my eye. I love mosaics. Um, you know, even the ones like when you tile your bathroom and stuff, like any type of tile mosaics. I've always liked textile stuff. I always call it textile and that's probably not the right word, but like chunky things and like, I don't know, I'm just attracted to that. So this is what started it. Then I found this book, and I'm going to move my camera a little bit. This is Laurie Micah, and I do mention her in, um, here it is, in my video, um, I just mentioned her name. I went to a bead fest. She actually taught a class at a bead fest. Um, I was very happy to find her there. Um, they're doing a lot more polymer clay at bead fest and stuff like that because you can make jewelry pieces with it, but... What hooked me and what attracted me to Lori Michael was these, she makes these um, shrines and things and they're all made out of clay tiles. So I saw that and I was like, wow, all right, I have to try this. So uh, luckily I did get to take a class with her and I did. And this is the project that we made. Now this is um, mainly... I brought, had to bring clay, and I had to bring a few things. I think um, some beads and things like that. She supplied most of the stamps, um, and that's really my introduction to stamps, was doing this, stamping into the clay. Um, you kind of, this. there's tons of stuff in here. There's, there's jewelry findings, there's chain, there's brads and... Um, beads, all types of stuff. Um, she also used Perfect Pearls, or there's a different name. Um, well, they're mica powders um, to color her tiles. She didn't use a lot of paint. Um, we did gold leafing and uh, stamping, I said. Um, so this was what I came away with from that class. And I mean, I was pleased with it. It, w it, g it gave me the experience. That's really, but see like this piece here, this was supposed to be like, I'm going to just hold it up a little and see if I can, but like sh I told you, she does these shrines. So she has a frame and then you put, you can do, um, transfers onto the clay as well with like, um, collage images and things like that. So, and like there's just little pearls, I mean pearls, uh, beads tucked into the little nooks and crannies and stuff like that. She'll really fill it with anything. So this was, this was, um, a transfer onto polymer clay. Um, so anyway, so that's what started it. Then I'm going to show you a little bit, um, before I get to the frame, which is what Jamie actually wanted to see. So this is kind of, I hope my light's okay. It seems I, ha I don't have my light on. Um, I kind of started just very simply, and I didn't have a lot of stamps, so I was really just going to Michael's and getting whatever was, like, on clearance and stuff like that. Like, I didn't know where to start. I think these are actually soap, um, for soap, these, ty these types of, uh, stamps, but, um, I got the Perfect Pearls, and I really liked working with them. Um, so I just went crazy and made tons and tons and tons and tons, and I'm talking tons. I have like a, a, sh a drawer thing that's filled, but um, I want to start by saying that you don't just have to stamp your clay. Look, you roll it out with a rolling pin into thin sheets, okay? Because this is what um, Jamie was asking me about, was actually the tiles. I've made lots of different types of art tiles now, now like almost a year later, Um but in the beginning, I just made them all with polymer clay. You roll the clay out real thin, 
and stamp into it. Then I started getting like bugle beads and little tiny beads, seed beads, and embedding them into the clay. Jewelry findings, just take that. I first, I just stamped the swirly pattern into that and put mica powder on it or uh, perfect pearls, put a piece of jewelry. This one's really cute, I like that little. But you just, it's whatever. Like this is when I would go to Michael's and get those um, jewelry pieces on sale and just take them apart. This is some type of, I don't know, I got it at Michael's and it's kind of like a, a little more rock and roll one. Then I like actually made a flower out of this. Uh, I think that's like a part of a toggle clasp, two leaf um, charms, and like a flower top thing at the top. So I, I just, I am not nearly as creative as the people who really do this stuff. Um, but I played and I, I was successful. I mean, I like, I really love the mirror. I'm going to show the mirror in a minute. But I did want to say too, uh, Jamie, you need to make all different sizes of tiles. Don't, um, like just stick to one size, like perfect sizes or anything like that. Then you make these little pieces. You just cut actual strips you can you can embed them or stamp them or do whatever I have this these were um actual like stamps that are made to do little borders border stamps is what I'm trying to say words you can do words then this I'm going to show you some more tiles that I did early on but you can cut these as well so like if there's a place on your um piece that you only need this much and it fits you just cut it you cut it with your tonic scissors it, as long as it's thin enough you can cut these down to make the tiles fit um you know so it's good to have little pieces that you can fit in those little nooks and crannies and you can also use like these are molds and i've made i haven't ever used these yet but they're really cool and these just have mica powders on them and there's several sizes and then i have these were um little faces but I I haven't ever used them yet but they're just these molds and I got these at um, Hobby Lobby and they're in the clay section um, and I think they're I forget the company they're made by but um, you know there's so much you can do with polymer clay these tiles here were in the very beginning I just used white clay and actually Lori Micah talks about this this was in her book so um, because she would mix and match. So she would throw some of these into a project sometimes. But she just used a knife and just cut these lines into it. And then when you, and I also use my, um, that's when I started getting glitter pens, like the uh, Sukuna, whatever these are called. Sakura, these are just Sakura uh, jelly roll pens. But like you could, you can use your metallic pens on these too. This is actually painted with acrylic paint, with washes of acrylic paint. These are stamps, and then I painted the stamps. Um, this is stamped on here, and I put stickles all around it. And I, I never ended up using these. These were just really beginner um, stamps that I had that were on clearance. So those were some other, uh, I'm gonna, I'll make a part two of this, or I'll just combine. But, um, so those I talked about, oh, these, I did talk about these, but these are just jewelry findings. You just, I just took whatever little charm that was. I think I got these in bulk one time some, somewhere and just stuffed that into the clay just to give it texture. And, um, then I want to talk about these. So these, her name is Gabrielle Polico, and I'm a subby to her. I'm going to go away and come right back. Um, she made polymer clay ATCs. She has a tutorial on her um, YouTube page for polymer clay ATCs. And so I just kind of followed what she did and made, these aren't actually ATCs, these are just tiles. But I kind of, I, I had these from my mosaics. I'd used these before. See, like in my, I used these little round um, marble beads in here for um, my mosaic, so I had them. And then she makes these little balls and they look like like grapes almost, I don't know. And then, so I kind of followed her lead on that and just, see like, look, these little um, leaves, I just kind of made those out of clay. And these were little beads I had, um, those flowers. And then this one's a small version, I just put a butterfly. Um, 
charm that's a bead finding and these I just did I put one of the little molds of face and it just says smile and then this is a jewelry finding that says imagine and again with the mica powders and that had a nice like golden um, bead to it so those were that um, what else did I want to show you okay so Jamie, this is a lot, but basically you just got to get some polymer clay, and I use Sculpey and Primo. I use both of those brands. There's tons of brands out there. Um, those are available at Michael's, and you can just go get it um, and start playing with your clay. And I use a rolling pin and roll it out, and then you cut. You get your supplies. Like I have, I'm going to show you a couple more things I have, but these are like you can get these at Michael's. These are your razors cutting oops I'm out of shot you get these little things these are um texture like texture things they're not exactly stamps but they're texture things see this is the um actually this is for polymer clay I think I I ordered this from a polymer clay um website or something I, I mean I just go crazy and I can't even remember where I get half the stuff I get um and then these are from uh, I want to show you this book too, Christy Friesen. She's a very, very talented, I would say more of a sculptor, but I've played around with, um, before I even started making the tiles, or actually probably just while I was playing with the clay, I was making things like little cutesy things too that I, um, I saw on um, YouTube. So like these little angels. I mean, she's cute. And I made like little... I, I made my granddaughter a charm bracelet of the princesses. So these are like, I think this is um, Ariel, Cinderella, and like, that's Belle, I think. And then I had all of them, and I put them on a charm bracelet for her. And then I made some Dora ones, too. So this probably, it's going back a couple years because um, my six now, and she doesn't really, she's not that much into Dora as much. But that's the map and Dora and um, what's that monkey's name? I forget. So I played with the cutesy stuff. Look, this is a Christmas ornament or some type of thing. I don't know. But that's polymer clay. And then I just layered stuff on and I used glitter. And look at the little face. I sculpted a face. It's so weird. But I want to try everything. Like when I get into something, I just go crazy. And like this is a magnet. I just put a magnet on the back of her. I tried to make a rose because there's a way that you can make roses. Like you just sculpt the rose. So that turned out pretty good. And, but I was going to talk about steampunkery. So then I saw the steampunkery. And this was really my first introduction to steampunk. I didn't know anything about steampunk. Um, but this is called steampunkery. And Lori Friesen, what she did, and I, I have my, oh man, I'm going to go get it. But I, because I did him and he's upstairs. He's a magnet. He's on my refrigerator. I have to make this dragonfly. I want to make the dragonfly. But I made... These are on her website, and it's CF Originals. And this is a, a free download, actually. This is a little bug. I have another bug. Here it is. I showed these briefly on one of my steampunk. Um, but I'm pretty sure either both of these were free or at least one of them was. I think this one was free. But they're steampunky because she just sticks gears in them and stuff and the beads and everything, but my gosh, look at this. This, The way that this wing looks kind of lined like that, she teaches you how to make it like that, like by folding your clay over and over and over, and then you just shape it into a wing. So cool. So, and then these are just beads that I had in my stash and the Tim Holtz um, gears and things like that, and you make these cool bugs. So, and then this was one of her designs too. This poor guy's had a bad day. <laughs> he screwed <laughs> and then so just hearts with steampunk now I've also seen um, tutorials by live art now Linda amazing work she does if you go to her um, YouTube page and look for her polymer clay stuff you will see amazing stuff but um, look at this Christy Friesen's amazing I love that see I'm I'm really happy that uh, Jamie suggested this because I'm getting inspired all over again. I hadn't pulled this book out in a long time. And I, I haven't done all of these. Oh my gosh, look at this fish. 
Can you see that fish? So this stuff is too cool and this book is amazing. All right, but I digress. Now, <laughs> then after I started making art tiles, like actually like Linda from Live Art Now, she's the one who got me into doing art tiles like this kind. This is um, kind of like a wooden domino and then you stamp on it and stuff. So these are her type of art tiles. Then I just started mixing it all in. This is my mom. These are three pictures of my mom. Um, I just photocopied the pictures and put them on like, I think it's chipboard. I put some of the art tiles. I put some of the clay tiles. I put just like everything on here. So that's just on a piece of um, that canvas, that thin canvas. I did one for her and I did one for Maya, my granddaughter. And they're just up on my shelf here. I put some of the, the secret garden paper. I made a little tile with that. Most of these are the secret garden paper. Um, had to put an angel or two because Maya's an angel, I think. I love her. So, but these are kind of, but I still use like the pink, the pink and um, the cutesy tiles in here because I was kind of going with like, see there's a, it's like green and pink. So you just kind of pick a theme. And then I have words and everything. All right, so that's that. So let me pull out what um, she wanted to say. This is the, I think I'm going to put it up on this um, stand. And then I'll just aim the um, camera at it and see if that works. I think that's going to work. And I can kind of zoom in. and. But. This one, it is one of my favorites. My husband actually said, um, and that's why a lot of my stuff is gone. I sold a lot of it. I've, I've done a few cigar boxes covered with this stuff. Um, if not all four sides, I did um, just the lid, and then I covered the sides with paper. Um, but this one's kind of like, um, has a, a, like a geisha theme or an oriental theme, like because all, I, I just happen to have those stamps. So I'm going to kind of try and come in a little bit. Um, but these were, I, I love how he turned out. Like, I don't know who he is, but um, peace. And they're all done with um, the mica powders or the perfect pearls. So it kind of is a tonal um, thing. Now, like here, I'm going to, like, I'll just zoom in on one section. And go away and come back. Because if you look at this. So I probably started at the top and just started fitting tiles in where they go, right? Or wh where they fit. But then here's a place right here that I needed to use one of those. Um, and look, even here, I just put beads in that spot. That was a thin spot that, oh, you know what? That is a ball chain. That's ball chain that I use. Look, and here's even little tiny mosaic tiles that are just like from um, like a real tile square and then so like there's a lot of like this little piece there was just a tiny little spot there so you need to find a little piece of this and then just see if it'll fit see that would have fit and then just cut it and stick that in there and I'm pretty sure the glue that I used for this is um weld bond I'm gonna grab it real quick it's right here but this is what I would use for my mosaics and they I think they're even selling this now at Michael's um, weld bond, but I got this at my, um, stained glass store. They probably sell it at Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has a lot more variety, I think. Um, so, but basically, you know, you just go around and lay in the tiles that you like and hope, and I mean, these just got, they fit because I kept playing with tiles until to fit, you know, I mean, I, I didn't plan it that way. I just, I mean, this is a mirror that you just buy at, um, oops, at like Michael's, it's raw wood. Yep. This was from Michael's. And I painted the sides of it gold. And, you know, and that's it. So, you know, but just, I mean, I don't know. The ball chain, I think Lori Micah started doing that too. Like just putting ball chain in the little areas. And look right here. These are actually um, little bead charms. These four, um, these are spacer beads. These four flowers. So... Anything and like here, this is um, seed beads, or maybe they're the ones one up a size. But 
Um, whatever will fit in there, it's it's a mixed media project. I mean, it's it is all polymer clay tiles basically. I didn't use any um, other tile. I mean, I did. I just use glass tiles here. But um, so this is the piece that she wanted to see. I'm going to zoom back out, and I'm going to show you my one my piece of resistance. However you say that piece that is a little whatever. This is, I had this, because I painted for years. You guys know that by now. I say it all the time. But this, hopefully, it will stand, and I'll back up a little bit. I think once I'd made all my, all my tiles, I was just like, okay, I need a big surface, and I'm just going for it. And I just covered this whole surface. I painted the ends gold, and I stamped up there, made this wonderful day bring joy and love into your heart, dare to dream, live for today. Just stamped it with those stamps on the bottom and top and then I just put in everything I had I just put in but they're all polymer clay they're not um, there's no art towels in here but there's just everything but the kitchen sink I mean like I even did one of these um, domes with an image behind it I did one here too with like an angel face I like that um, so, and then I kind of got away from it. I stopped making art tiles, or actually the polymer clay tiles. Um, I don't know if I, I think, no, I probably put the polymer clay away. And then I, that's when I kind of found scrapbooking and stuff. And um, the next time I did it, it would have been um, with my granddaughter or, you know, something like that. But I haven't actually. I think I would like to add a few more of these guys to my collection. I'm going to go get my little um, chameleon. I'll be right back. So this is the, um, where'd it go? Oh, here he is. Look how cool. And it's only one-sided. So you kind of can mold it. You just lay it on the surface. But I put magnets on here and he hangs on my fridge. Super cool. But she makes this buckle. Like this is all directions. Like these, um, how you make it look like a uh, leather belt there. And you know how these kind of come out looking like that. The spikes and how you make this kind of look like leather too. And you know it's all in the book and the eye you use beads for that with wire so super cool I love him but I want to make the dragonfly but I love these bugs too this one had a hole when it before I think it before it was baked we put a hole here so I just put this wire and I hang him on my little um my organizer thing over here but this one doesn't have any way to hang them or anything I guess I could make him a magnet too but they're so cool. And then these little birds. This is free. Um, CF Originals. This is a free pattern, I'm pretty sure. These were, these were the first things I did. This was the first, like, sculpting I did. Making these birds. I made lots of them. I don't even have them all out here. I have, like, four in the bag over there. But I was mixing metallic clay. Like, you mix metallic clay. And so it, it kind of has all the different colors. And then just on the tips... And on the beak and stuff, you would rub um, your Perfect Pearls and put some beads for the top and the... So, super cool. Alright, so polymer clay is a wonderful, wonderful medium to play with. I love it. Um, and, you know, that's the thing about this crafting. I can get back to it any time. It's sitting right over there. When I'm done making Christmas cards, maybe that's what I'll do. <laughs> but, uh... That's it for now, guys. I want to thank Jamie again for um, for getting me out of my Christmas card funk because I was making too many Christmas cards, man. Um, and hopefully that helped you. Just um, send me a message if you need any more info. And thanks for watching.